Welcome to this shortwave radio channel and today we talk about of course and continue on the top 10 vintage tabletop receivers that are still worth considering today if you're looking for a tabletop receiver and don't want to play the premium prices of new receivers today. So in that list of course we can't go without talking about the Drake R8 communications receiver. Now it comes into three different versions. The R8, which is the first version that came out, and the R8A and the R8B that actually improved upon different things. It improved upon the AGC, the notch filter. Display was actually made easier to read and to see. Um, bandwidth selections, easier mode and bandwidth selections. They kind of tweaked it because, you know, they kind of wanted to make things a little better. Uh, enhanced tone control, uh, detachable line cord, expansion to RS-232, stuff that they've added over time. So, of course, the best that you can have is the latest version, the R8B, but even if you have an original R8, it's still a great radio. It's just that they tweaked it to make it a little better. So, this is a communications receiver that was made in the United States from 91 to 95. It's a general coverage receiver from 100 kilohertz all the way up to 30,000 kilohertz. That's 30 megahertz. So long wave, medium wave, and short wave. And AM, SSB, CW, RTTY, and FM mode. It's a double conversion receiver. And uh, this um, is one of the receivers that is pretty nice. According to some websites, used price range should be around $600. But I've seen a lot of them go higher than that. Honestly, a used receiver is never worth the price of the original receiver. I've seen some people pay a thousand for a Drake R8 on uh, some websites. You know what? That's the price it was selling for that back in ninety, early nineties. Uh, I would never pay that price. You know, if you have a thousand dollars to shed on a receiver, you'll get some really interesting options that are, you know, modern and much more advanced today. Um, even though you're not going to get the top end receivers, you still can get better uh, radios that are much more modern. So, you know, think about that when you buy a receiver because it's not worth it, honestly, to buy this receiver um, at premium price. But if you get it at a decent price, that could be interesting. It's one of the great uh, communications receivers that exists. It's one of the great radios that were made for tabletop shortwave listening. So uh, you can check that out. And of course, like I said, it comes in R8A and B also versions, which are more modern, honestly. And possibly the R8B will be a little more expensive than the original R8. So, um, you know, it's one of those that you could check out if you ever see it at a decent price. That's what you want to pay for. Uh, remember that uh, this is one of the great tabletops and, you know, it will do the job and just make sure once again that it really works well you, you know best thing to do is make sure that you test it and uh, be careful lots of people out there lie on how receivers are actually working or not so uh, just be careful and make sure that you do a purchase that is a, a good one and uh, be very very careful in buying used radios if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching